All right, we're cranking up the kiln right now. Let's get out here and do it. Here we go. All right, according to my calculation, we only need about 28 grams of silver, and this is like 48 grams, so we should be plenty. We're going to drop that in there, stick it in there right now. She's already heating up, up to 800 degrees. We got something to 2,000. So let's get in here and get it melting. Here we go. Heat this up just a little bit anyway. Hope to get up about 400 degrees. And try to get the slowly heated just like that. Here we go. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to pour our first vial of sterling silver into a bullet. And here we go. Oh my gosh, that thing is hot. Woo! All right, here we go. We're getting ready to do it right now. And she's coming out. It is hot. Here we go. Pure sterling silver going in. All right, let's see if it made it. It did make it down to the top, just like we thought. Now it's all a matter of letting it cool off and checking it out. All right, let's shut this down here. And let's see how it looks here. Like I said, I had just a little bit more than I needed. As you can see, it's a nice little round uh, nugget right there on the top. All right, we got to let that cool down, and we will pull it apart and check it out. Sterling Silver Civil War Bullet. I can't wait to check it out. Stay tuned. All right, she's definitely still warm, and the bullet's probably still a 1,000 degrees. But it's definitely hardened, so let's see if we can pull it off here and just look at it. Oh my god, look at that. That is cool. Almost has a copper color to it. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the sand, I don't know. But we are definitely going to um, take it out and buff it out and see what we got. That is cool. I love it. Alright, stay tuned. We're going to get it out here and check it out. Look at that. That's awesome. Right, let's see if we can just grab it to get it out of here just to kind of let it cool off a little bit. A little bit, bit easier. The edges look really good on it. That looks good. Little cleaning on that, not bad at all. We'll snap that top off right there. We'll be good to go. Man, can't wait for that thing to cool down. All right, stay tuned. All right, I had to cut a little piece off the end here, but as you can see, the the sand gets in here. Let's see if it come on. I hear it. Yep, there it comes. Comes comes right out of that groove right there. A little bit right there, maybe. Yep, it came right out. See that little bit of sand, little molded sand in that? Let's see if it, see it came right out. All right, we're looking good. Sterling silver bullet. I still got to clean up where the joint is right here. I'll take a little grinder. We're going to clean that up, buff that out, clean it up, and then buff the whole bullet up. And hopefully it's going to be nice and shiny, like a like a brand new penny. But instead of copper, it'll be uh, silver. All right, we're going to go in here now and take a grinder, and we're going to kind of ease up and clean all this up right here and get it looking good all right here we go all right see that in there we're going to take this little grinding wheel here and hopefully uh take a little bit of it off right here just to smooth it out oh yeah it's just coming clean oh that's looking good that's looking really good i have to get another little piece to go up inside the grease here 100% success. I am blown away. Unbelievable. I'm going to get you a nice close-up piece, man. As I said, I did a little bit of work. Not a lot. I spent 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, cleaning this up. You know, when you pour this thing, you do get a little bit of stuff on the edges where it's smashed down. And I did have a little table in the back. Probably why I didn't pound it back. I had to cut that off and sand it down. But the grooves turned out perfect on it. Oh, my God. I took my buffing wheel and buffed it out. It, it's got a mirror finish on it. I'm going to put some better pictures up there, but I'm going to tell you what. That is one cool sterling silver bullet. Is that cool? I will definitely be making some more. Uh, in fact, uh, John Boy wants to make some uh, buckles out of sterling silver. One of his, uh, I think it's a Virginia buckle or something out of sterling silver. That is going to be super cool. I can't wait to do it. Just having a blast making this stuff out of out of these molten metals like that. That's awesome. 
Anyway, I appreciate everybody coming along. We'll definitely be making some more in the future. Uh, probably uh, in a couple of days because we got a couple of adventures to go on in the next day or two here. And it's going to take all day. So anyway, but when we get time, we'll definitely be doing some more melting and taking that kiln and putting it to work. I appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. We got some cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned.